So I guess first question, is everything from yesterday already out of your mind? Uh, you know, uh, I have been, I'm actually going to look at the tape after after this. So, uh, you know, it's still a little in my mind, you know, of course, but for the most part, you know, uh, we need to move on from it, and I need to move on from it. You know, I'm going to go and I'm going to look at the tape, and I'm going to correct, you know, make the corrections I need to make to for me to be a better player on the field and uh, to for me to, you know, contribute as best as I can to help our team. What was the biggest stumbling block for you guys yesterday? Uh, I feel like I said uh, yesterday, I was talking about how they uh, spread us out, and I, I feel like we could have did a better job as flying to the ball, you know, when because um, they, they they created a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups in the middle of the field or, like, um, on the perimeters of the field, and it made it hard for us to tackle. So I feel, you know, uh, pr pursuit to the ball was probably the biggest thing. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to look at the film, and I'm trying to get as much as I can from it. You made a comment uh, about uh, letting things kind of bounce off your chest uh, when it comes to you know how a team deals with certain adversities. Can you talk a little about about that and in, in, in how this team deals with that bouncing off their chest? Oh yeah, um, especially you know this year, you know I feel you know we've done a great job of that. You know each each week, you know uh, it might have not gone our way, but. It hasn't stopped us from playing the best game that we possibly can, or or going into the game with the ter determination to to beat that team. You know, no matter what the outcome was the the last week. And I feel we're as far as that goes. You know, we're we're we're, we're great at it. You know, we're great at at looking forward. Uh, you know, moving on to the next game, and you know, putting our best for best effort into the next game. And I feel that's what we need to do for Apple Cup. You know, it's, it's a huge, it's a huge week. Everyone knows it's a huge week. And, uh, you know, we just need to prepare how we've been preparing and just get out there on Saturday and put the results on the field. Is there, how how frustrating have these peaks and valleys been for you guys? I mean, from, uh, what was it, Stanford to Utah and then playing so well against UCLA and then thinking you have momentum and then yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely hard. You know, it's kind of like mood swings. But, uh, you know, you know, it, you we don't really have an answer for it. You know, it's just we we just have to find what we do in that game. You know, against Stanford, UCLA, and Oregon. You know, we have to translate it into every single game. You know, have that same mindset that we do for those games and continue to bring it into those practices pre the previous week. You know, before the Utahs, the before you know this game, before you know, we just need to understand. You know, what we need to have mentally. You know that we didn't have in Stanford, you know UCLA or Oregon. You know we just need to, I don't know, I guess mem memorize or you know think about, you know take a time to think about what what mindset we're in during those games and translate into every game. Yeah, speaking of mindset, I remember after the Utah game we had asked um, Brett Bartoloni, um, you know what what happened yesterday and you know the Saturday of the Utah game, and he said just warm-ups right from the start, things didn't feel right, you know, maybe there wasn't the right energy. Did yesterday feel at all like that, or were you guys totally ready to go for that game? You know, uh, I feel, I feel, it wasn't exactly like you told, I feel it was more of, of us being frantic and just going out there and just it was just too much you know we just we're, we're trying to make too much happen at you know at too little a time. I feel uh, we just need to take every down in the stride and just, you know, do one play at a time instead of, you know, trying to accumulate all plays at the same time and, and, and thinking into the future and thinking, in, you know, about the next quarter. We need to think about this play and then, okay, this play is over. Now we need to focus on the next play. You know, I feel that's what happened in, you know, the first two quarters is we're all, we're just running around like, you know, we have our heads cut off and, you know, we're not thinking about what the coach is signaling into us. Okay, you know, he signals in the call, okay, we're, we're focused and we're doing what we need to do, you know, and I feel that's mostly what, 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 what went on that, that game. How uh, important will it be and how difficult will it be to find that middle ground against UW, the rivalry game, probably the game you guys are going to be most amped up for? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's definitely it's definitely gonna be hard to, to find that because like everyone's out there and it's it's Apple Cup you know we're all excited but at the same time we we have to remember we have to settle down and you know as leaders you know as myself I could you know remind my team and you know let them understand that that's what we need to do and you know as you know the other leaders on the team you know Travis he does a great job you know in telling us you know to calm down you know focus on this play and you know make the best out of the, this play right now you know don't focus on you know everything else in the future and just taking one play at a time one down at a time. The seniors have talked about how uh, obviously the season and, and for some of them their careers hasn't haven't gone the way they hoped, but they hope. 
that they've left at least you guys on, on the right foot and on the right path. Would you say the senior class has done that? Definitely. Definitely. Uh, you know, uh, I've been here for a while, and it, each senior class that has, that's, you know, gone by, they've, they've definitely always, they've left something, you know, uh, value instilled in, in all of us, you know, to, to carry on to the next season. You know, and especially with this class, you know, Travis, you know, it speaks for himself, but he's he's the most passionate player I've ever played with in my life. You know, he's and it 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 just it it's crazy how how passionate he is for the game. It's almost as if as when I get on the field, it's I don't want to let him down. You know, I want to play I want to play as hard as I possibly can to to make his you know to make his years better. You know, and it, it might have not gone the way he envisioned it, but you know, I definitely hope that you know he understands that and you know he sees that because he's. He's the most passionate player I've ever seen, you know, or played with before in my life. So, you know, I, I wish the best, you know, for him in the future, you know. Can, can you look at the season and, and tell me now that you guys are, are better than when the season first started? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you, you don't really see, you know, what happens behind the scenes. You only see, you know, wins and losses in the numbers. But, you know, as maturity goes and as us, you know, getting – you know, bonding and us being together and, and, and understanding our strengths and weaknesses, you know, we're definitely a better team than what we were at BYU. What do you think is the biggest improvement this year versus last year as far as what the team is doing? It, it, perhaps a practice or game planning? Yeah. Uh, you know, the biggest thing for me is just I feel just on the field our communication was a lot better than, you know, as first what it was for BYU. You know, I remember, you know, BYU, we were just all out there kind of just playing for ourselves, you know, not letting them, you know, if if we see something, we're not letting each other know. We're just kind of out there and doing our individual jobs. You know, I feel we've done a great job of communicating and, and actually coming together. Like, you know, it's like a, it's a defense, you know, like uh, I, me, myself, like I, I go to the linebackers meeting so I can, you know, figure out, you know, what they're thinking and, you know, so we can both be on the same page. So I think, like, as far as that goes, the communication has been by far a lot better than what it has in the start. How much do you guys look forward to this week, especially the season that's been kind of tough? Oh, you know, uh, this week is a huge week for us, you know. And, and it, it, for a lot of people, you know, for a lot of people, it, it's, it's, it, could, it could turn around the season, you know. It could, it could at least, you know, shed some light. You know, onto you know this this groom you know this grim season, but you know I feel like this is a big game for a lot of people because everyone remembers the Apple Cup. You know, you're gonna remember the Apple Cup for the rest of your life. I remember my freshman Apple Cup. You know, I remember, you know that's the biggest game that out of all all the seasons that I remember. So, you know this is gonna be a huge a huge game. You know that that you know th these seniors can tell their kids one day. So, I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna go out there and play as hard as I possibly can. What stuck out to you about your first Apple Cup and seeing it first firsthand, first time, that, that rivalry? Yeah, uh, we ran out there. The first thing that went through my mind is that it was cold. I'm not going to lie. That was the first thing that went through my mind. But, uh, you know, then when I looked out into the crowd and it was just, you know, all you see is just, you know, crimson, you know, because it was at home. And, you know, you just have the urge. You just want to make a play. You just want to be remembered, you know. So, you know, I, I was really excited the first Apple Cup, yeah. Are you able to sleep? before the game, or is it you're like you're so amped up that you can't sleep? Yeah, it's, it's definitely you're amped up, uh, you know, but it's uh, our last, actually last game, you know, it, every game, you, it's really it's really hard to sleep, but this, this game is it's going to be the most difficult because you're so excited for, you know, it's such a big thing, you know, so many great players have played in this, you know, so it's, it's really an honor that you're even on the field, you know, playing playing this game, so, yeah. What's it like on the field amongst the players on opposite sides? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, shoot, UW and WC, you know, we always have a big rivalry. We're always, you know, attacking each other. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're all we're all cool. And, I think, you know, we're all shaking hands. But I, I don't really I don't really see much of them. I don't really know, you know, UW too well. But, you know, from what I see, you know, after the game, you know, during the game, it's you know it's war. But after the game, you know we're gonna shake hands and we'll go different several ways. Yeah. You said um, uh, the old greats or the great, the great players. What what do they say when when they're talking to you about this and how, and how often do they bring it up in your conversations? Oh, well, you know, uh, usually it's it's they just they let us know just how big of it and how, what memories you know we're gonna have you know coming coming away from it. You know, no matter what the outcome is, like they really harp on. The memories of, of of you know being being remembered. You know what did you do in the game? You know to help your team. You know win or not, or you know just to help your team 
be victorious. So most of the time, uh, what I've heard in the past is just just talking about you know how what it feels like you know to make a play out there on, on the field during the Apple Cup, and you know, and you know, and and uh, I haven't got a victory yet in the Apple Cup, but I'm I'm looking forward to one. You know, I, I have this opportunity the next one, so. I, f I definitely feel I'm going to get one, so Coops, oh, I can't wait. Sorry. Coops so, try, uh, tend to pride themselves on uh, when there's been kind of a down season mm -hmm. and the Huskies are having a good one, yeah. and, and that serves as a pretty good motivator oh, to yeah. kind of ruin that, that that end of the season for the Huskies. Oh, yeah. How much do you guys talk about that sort of thing? You know, we haven't, uh, you know, going to this week, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of talk about it. You know, we haven't talked much about it uh, because we were focused on Arizona State the week before, but, you know, that's, that's even more fuel to the fire, you know, to, to – in in a sense, ruin your season because you know, you know to and it just it it'll help us. You know it'll motivate us to play even harder against these these you know against UW. You know even harder than we would usually. You know it's gonna be a huge game and we're all really excited for it. Yeah. Have you had a chance to see them much? And you know if so, what jumps out to you about them specifically on offense? Oh um yeah, I've seen them uh. They're they're an athletic team. They're an athletic team, but you know I'm I wouldn't take anything away from them. we're gonna go into this game, you know, with as if they're a, the best team in the nation. You know, uh, Keith Price. He's a great quarterback. Uh, he's agile. He, he can throw the ball. You know, and they have a really good tight end as well. So, um, it's gonna it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a battle. You know, also they have Bishop Shanky that was committed here. You know, so. You know, everyone wants to hit him. So I mean, we're gonna go out there. And we're gonna we're gonna play him as hard as we possibly can. Yeah, with that, have you looked at what he does and obviously preparing for Polk? You know, the, mm -hmm. the years past. Yeah. What, what kind of differences, similarities? I mean, do you see from those guys? Um, you know, uh, Polk. You know, he's a bigger. He was a, he was a bigger running back. But uh, you know, Bishop. He's he's. I think I feel he's a little more agile. He's more agile. You know, east and west. You know, he he gets. You know. He gets out of his brakes faster than uh, than Chris Polk did, but you know Polk he uh, he was a hard runner. You know he was a hard runner, no matter you know what down it was. You know he hit the hole hard, and I feel you know as far as similarities, they're both great great running backs. They're both really good running backs, and we're gonna have to keep an eye on them. Can you just kind of uh, expound on the difficulty of facing a quarterback like Price? Is I guess a little bit unique in this yeah. conference, um, just his dual threat nature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, um, Keith Price he's probably the only UW player that I've probably you know met before because I uh, I've met him before. You know, he's really cool. He's a really cool guy. You know, but um, he he's he's an agile quarterback, and you know from what I've seen, you know he he can throw the ball as well. So that's always a threat, no matter what. You know. Uh, as we know, probably the best, you know, Oregon, you know, with uh, Mariota, uh, his name is, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's kind of like him, you know. He can throw the ball if he needs to, and, you know, he can tuck in a run if, if the pressure's, you know, if he's forced out of the pocket. So, yeah. Obviously, you guys have played well against you know, UCLA, Stanford, Oregon, like you mentioned. Washington is kind of in that class, maybe one of the better teams yeah. of the conference. What do you think it is about those elite teams that you tend to play better for? Yeah, um, you know I've said this. I've said this before. Like I feel, you know, we rise up to competition. We rise up to to competition. Uh, and and I, what we need to do is that level of play that we go into going against these high level teams. Like we need to go, we need to go that hard against every team. And it, our the results would be so different if we did that. You know and. You know it's unfortunate that it's like that, but through you know through time we're gonna we're gonna get that fixed. That's gonna be we're gonna have the same level of play no matter who we're playing. But um, you know as far as similarities, it's just it's just wanting to win. You know with all those teams, it's just them wanting to be good, them wanting to win. Their mindset. I feel like I feel like as far as the it's Pac-12. This is Pac-12 football. You know everyone's a good football. Everyone's a great football. You know everyone's a really good football player. You know it really comes down to your mindset. Everyone's big. Everyone's fast. You know, so it's it's really just what separates other teams from, you know, good teams from, up, you know, just average teams is their mindset, you know, what they want to do, how they, you know, how they want to do it. Can you talk about what it's like uh, spending a Thanksgiving with the team as opposed to going back home like a lot of students do? Yeah, um, well, you know, this is the first time with, you know, this coach staff and team, so I'm excited about spending Thanksgiving with them for sure. And, uh, you know, 
um, it's just it's just more like it's just team bonding, you know. It's 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 just us, you know. It's just us here. It's Pullman, you know. It's it's, winter, it's it's Thanksgiving break. Everyone's gone, and it's just us out here, you know. It's just the team and the coaches, and you know, it's it's cool. Can you tell us something you're thankful for this year? Um, I'm thankful for my mom. Yeah, so yeah, definitely my mom. She does so much for me. Yeah. How nervous does she get for the games when you're playing? Uh, you know, I'm, I don't. Um, she we been, she still gets nervous, but you know, I've been playing football for a while now. So you know, she just kind of she told me she just close closes her eyes when you know I get hit or I hit somebody. So yeah. She's getting yeah, yeah, nervous for the other person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any questions on the line for down? Christian? Yeah, Dale. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Dale, I was, I was wondering, you know, you, both you and Carl talk about uh, former players. Talk about how much they hate the Huskies and their memories and everything. And I was wondering if you think that the staff, the current coaching staff, embraces that kind of good nature hatred the same way that the previous staff did, if they talk about it as much. Um, you know, uh, Going into this week will really tell me, but um, so far they've they've definitely, I feel they've def they definitely have the same you know dislike for the Huskies as you know we do. I mean we all we all we're all pretty intense about you know being the Huskies, but you know we we I feel as also that we you know we need to come into this game you know like like every other game you know we need to focus and you know just do what we need to do, you know, prepare the same way that we've been preparing, you know, um, and uh, just, you know, don't change anything that we've been doing. We just need to just play, you know, play harder and just retranslate what we did throughout the week to prepare and just translate to the field. I feel that's the biggest thing for us. And then, uh, you talked about Bishop Sankey a little bit earlier. Were you, did you follow, you know, his recruitment at all? I know you're, you're a year ahead of him, mm -hmm. but... Did you know? I mean, that he was he was committed to WSU for such a long time, and is that something that guys talk about at all from a revenge perspective or anything? Hmm. Oh, uh, people don't people don't really talk about it too much. They haven't talked about it too much this season. I mean, after it happened, it just you know just happened. But I knew he was uh, committed here for a little bit during um, during the whole recruiting season. So uh, we were all you know looking forward to him coming, you know, and then he kind of you know you know he had a change of heart, but. Um, you know, we we don't I don't we don't really talk about it too much. You know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, he's not on our team, so yeah. If you guys are are pretty likely to meet a few times on on Friday, I'm sure. Yeah. Do you imagine you'll say anything to him about it or or you said, approach that? You said what? Sorry. I I imagine that you guys you know you'll you'll probably tackle it a, a few times on Friday. Do you, you plan to say anything to him? <laughs> um. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm definitely every time. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything to him, but you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give him everything I have. You know, each time he comes to the hole. So, um, I, I'm not too much of a talker, but you know, I'm definitely gonna let him know I'm there. Christian, you good? Yeah. Okay. Maybe give me a good go, Coops. Yeah, of course. <laughs> How long does it take to develop that healthy hatred? I mean, is it once you step on campus, it's there? Is it after the first Apple Cup? Is it the week leading up to it? I mean, because not everybody's from yeah. Pullman or Seattle. I mean, yeah, um, mine. Uh, it kind of it kind of started for me. You know, my freshman year is when I when that first that first day of practice, that first that first day of practice previous week. That's when it started for me. You know, because uh, everyone was. I didn't really, cause I'm not from around here, you know. So everyone just really just that's when I really just understood, you know, the rivalry between us and UW was the first the first day of that first week of that pre uh, practice before my first album cup. So that's when I understood, and uh, that's when a lot of these freshmen under understand as well, you know, cause you know all these seniors, these seniors are gonna they're gonna uh, every time they come in and we're about to break it out, they're gonna say something about UW. They're gonna say something to to fire us up. So. You know, that's when I, you know, that's when I figured out, you know, how much, you know, the dislike was for you, Doug. What will you say to the younger guys? Uh, when my time comes, you know, I'm going to say the same thing I said here, you know. You know, this game is, uh, you know, all, all about how, how you want to be remembered, you know, and, and, and how do you want to be remembered, you know, that's what I'll ask them. And, you know, and uh, I'm sure the answer is going to be, going to be, you know, something 
something great. You know, I'm not sure what it is, but you know, when that time comes, I'll know. If you guys do beat Washington, do you anticipate the students rushing the field? You know, is that something that you'd like them to do? Oh, I would love them to do that. That would be awesome. Um, that that is that is awesome. That's a great feeling. I mean, I remember when, last year when we beat Arizona State and they rushed the field. You know, that was that was uh, that was something that I always remember for the rest of my life. So you know, I, I would that would be awesome if they did that. You know, I'm I would definitely be looking forward to them doing that. Yeah. I have one more, and it's a stop the presses one. What do you need to have for Thanksgiving dinner to be complete for you? What I need to have. What's that one dish? You know. I need to have. I need to have macaroni and cheese, but it just can't be like macaroni and cheese. It has to be macaroni and cheese with like all the cheeses. You know, like different layers of noodles. You know, and then like the the little crust, little crusty things. You know what I'm talking about? On top of yeah, that, that's what I need for sure. Is that like a, a family recipe? Is mom make it? Or? Yeah, my mom makes it. My mom makes it. Uh, my mom makes it, and uh, but I'm I'm fortunate enough. My grandma's coming down, so I'm gonna have some good food. <laughs> And Papa John's pregame? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. You already know. <laughs> Papa John's. Every time. <laughs>